Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to another session for answering the question regarding MRCS exam. Here, this is the question which of the following is a branch of the third part of the axillary artery? So, it is one of the direct question that uh, which of the following branch is uh, from the third part of the axillary artery. So, we have to find out the branch who is arising from the third part and who is of the axillary artery. So, first of all, we have to know uh, details about the axillary artery and different part of the axillary artery and finally, the branches of the axillary artery. Here are the options. Options are superior thoracic, lateral thoracic, dorsal scapular, thoracoacromian and posterior circumflex humeral. So, we have to find out one of the option who is arises from the third part of the axillary artery so first of all let's see the axillary artery so here we can see this is the axillary artery it starts from here that means it is the outer border of the first rib so the axillary artery it arising from the outer border of the first rib and we can see it terminates at the teres major muscle so this point is very very important that the axillary artery it arises outer border of the first rib and it ends by giving this branch that means anterior posterior circumflex branch and then terminates the axillary artery and continues as a brachial artery and now the parts first of all the first part here we can see this area this is the first part and the first part it extends from the outer border of the first rib to the upper border of the pectoralis minor muscle and second part it is covered by pectoralis minor muscle and third part it starts from the lower border of the pectoralis minor muscle and it extends up to the lower border of the this muscle that is teres major so the pectoralis minor muscle it determines the part of the axillary artery and through the pectoralis minor muscle it is the second part and above the pectoralis minor it is first part and below the pectoralis minor it is the third part now see the branch it is also very easy that the from the first part one branch arises then from the second part two branches arise then from the third part three branches arise so it is very very easy to remember the branch from the different parts so first of all the first part one branch and this is the superior thoracic artery then second segment or second part it from here two branches one is thoracodorsal artery another one is lateral thoracic artery sorry it is the thoracoacromial artery and lateral thoracic artery and from the third segment three branches subscapular thoracodorsal and circumflex scapular artery from the third part three branches arises subscapular posterior circumflex humeral and anterior circumflex humeral artery and the subscapular it also gives two bra important branches circumflex scapular and thoracodorsal but from the third part three important branches subscapular posterior circumflex and anterior circumflex humeral so let's see in the picture this is the first part and from the first part superior thoracic artery arises and from the second part thoracoacromian and lateral thoracic and from the third part this is the subscapular anterior and posterior humeral circumflex artery or circumflex humeral artery in this picture it is also clear there this part this is the first part from the first part this artery arises it is the thoracoacromial artery here this is the second part from the second part two branches one is the thoracoacromian another one is the lateral thoracic and from the third part from here up to here it gives the subscapular artery and anterior and posterior circumflex humeral artery so from the third part three branch arises one is the subscapular another one anterior and posterior circumflex humeral artery so we have to find out the options of anterior circumflex humeral artery posterior circumflex humeral artery and subscapular artery so let's see the question here so here we can see there is the posterior circumflex humeral artery present and posterior circumflex humeral artery it arises from the third part of the axillary artery other option we can see the superior thoracic artery superior thoracic artery it is from the first part of the sub 
of the axillary artery then lateral thoracic it arises from the second part of the axillary artery dorsal scapular it is not direct branch from axillary artery and thoracoacromial uh, it from the second part of the axillary artery so our final answer it is the posterior circumflex humeral artery it arises from the third part of the axillary artery with uh, another two branches one is the anterior circumflex humeral artery and subscapular artery thank you all